Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Caroline and I wanted to do a quick Sephora sale haul for you guys. This is everything that I got from the Sephora spring sale. I was rouged, so I did get everything 20% off. And then of course, Ulta did a sale at the same time. They always do that to each other. So I have a mini Ulta haul as well. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get started with the haul. Let's start with Sephora. So first I got the Bum Bum Jet Set, which has the infamous bum bum spray that smells so good infamous bum bum lotion that i have god i have like four of these travel ones around and a big one and then the body wash so i usually just buy this for the body wash but again i do love everything everything smells so good in here but this is my third or fourth one i've gone through all of them and i really like traveling with this case as well i put my liquids in there face washes lotions things like that when i travel so this is just a really nice set to have all around and it's 25 dollars, which i think is a great deal because their stuff is pretty pricey but if you haven't tried this if you haven't tried the scent of this which i'm sure everyone their mother already has it smells so good and i highly recommend trying this out next i got the ola henriksen truth juice daily cleanser this is my third one i love this cleanser i believe it's around 23 dollars it is my favorite cleanser that i've ever tried by far it doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped i've been very happy with it, it gets makeup off you feel fresh and clean after and it smells so good I also got another refill of the Moroccan treatment. It's the Moroccan oil. I always get the little ones. It's $15. I should probably get the bigger ones because I do use it every time I wash my hair. But the little one, this will last me probably like three months because you don't need a lot. What I do is I put it on my hands when my hair is damp and I rub it in, kind of make it warm. And then I put it from about here down on my hair and it makes my hair so sleek and shiny. I have noticed such a big difference, especially if you get blonde highlights, it does dry out your hair a little bit. So this has made my hair a lot smoother and a lot softer. So this is probably my third or fourth one that I've been through. Another repurchase is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. I have gone through six plus of these, so many of these. I got this scent of coconut colada they just came out with like a vanilla bourbon one and i didn't see that until after i ordered this so i might try that one next but i find that this dry shampoo just really soaks out all the oil it is white when you spray it but it goes away immediately you just massage it into your hair i think my hair lasts longest with this and i really hate when dry shampoo kind of leaves your hair stiff like you can feel it in your hair this does not do that to you i had that issue with one of the igk ones i really didn't like it but I have come back for this over and over again, and I really like it. I think it's $21 to $23 as well. Everything else I'm gonna mention is brand new to me, so I haven't tried them out yet. I'm sure I'll talk about them in vlogs down the road, what I think of them, review them. So first is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I got one fair, I mean, everyone raves about this. I know it's good. It's so finely milled, I'm really excited to try it. Let me open it up so you guys can see. It's just in her typical packaging that she has like all her bronzers and blushes in and then this is fair i wanted something that was kind of translucent i almost got medium because i definitely i'll probably need medium in the summer because i do get pretty tan but i feel like this was a good overall shade to have and oh my gosh it feels like butter it is so soft i don't even want to like want to waste it swatching it because i think this is like 38 dollars or something 35 very expensive, but everyone raves about it, so now's the time in a sale. I initially had the Wishful Yoglo Enzyme, something like that scrub that I absolutely love. I am completely out of it in my cart. But then the Ola Henriksen brand just came out with Lemon Soothing Scrub. Exfoliates with AHAs and Lemon Peel Extract. So basically, I think it's the same thing as the Wishful one. It might have been a few dollars cheaper. I didn't really care about the price because I know I wanted one either way. So this is brand new for me. I have never been disappointed by Ola Henriksen, so I'm excited to try it out. It looks like it's gonna do the exact same thing that the Wishful Scrub did. It has the AHAs, it's an exfoliant. I'm very excited. I use an exfoliant twice a week with either my Clarisonic or my Duval Spin Brush, and I just feel like it leaves your skin so glowy and takes away like any texture, any uneven skin tone, it really helps. So I am very excited to try this out. Okay, I had to try this next product because Kim Kardashian's hairdresser raves about it. It is the Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. I got the mini size. This was $12, which is absurd. I think the full size is like $20, $30. So what threw me off is when I read the directions, it says use every three to four shampoos. Okay, I thought you could use this every shampoo. I want to look into why you can't use it every time, but apparently that's how the Kardashian's hair is so shiny and smooth. So I'm really excited because my natural hair texture is wavy, kinky, frizzy, 
curly it is not what you see right now like this took time so I'm really excited to try this out oh and it says dryer heat required to activate so you put this on damp hair but everyone raves about this and the like shellac one they have it's like a circular tube that is like I think it has white on there but everyone raves about both those things and the wow product line in general so I thought I'd try it out I'll report back on that and then I do I've actually tried the Marc Jacobs liner before but I've never gotten this color it is Marc Jacobs highliner in brown out so it's just a brown with some spark in it I want some spark some sparkle in it I wanted something kind of bronzy because when you have brown eyes apparently a bronze eyeliner is really pretty and makes your eyes pop even more so it's just their full-size liner and it's brown with like a little bit of glitter in it but I really like their liner oh they're so creamy it has really nice sparkle to it. it looks really pretty it's more like a dark bronze but you can definitely see the sparkle in it I am sadly still waiting for one more order. I made three orders during this sale. And the last thing is the Kiali Vanilla 28 Perfume. It was sold out almost the whole entire sale. I kept doing email me to notify. It would notify me at 1 a.m. when I was asleep. I'd wake up at 7 and I'd go to buy it and it would be gone again. So I got the $25 one, which is the smallest one. It is such a good set and so unique. I absolutely love it. So the full size is 118, which even with the sale, I'm like, I'm just, I'm not doing it. I have a ton of perfumes. I like to rotate. So I got the $25 one. It hasn't shipped yet. I'm really excited for it. I really want it. I'll put a picture up somewhere around here and I'll link everything down below that I talk about, of course, like I always do, but I am so excited for that Kaoli to come in the mail. My husband also loves that scent. I feel like it's definitely more of a like date night, warmer scent and it helps that my husband likes it as well now onto my Ulta products I got a lot of tried and true things like the Morphe setting spray probably my 10th time repurchasing it they always keep it in this in case it leaks I never had a leak but guys if you have not tried the setting spray I use it every single day it helps melt your makeup so well like if you maybe think that your bronzer looks a little harsh or you can maybe see the line or maybe the blush looks a little drying or the powder you use looks a little drying on your face just don't worry do your base and then set it with this and it just melts everything together and it's an aerosol can and it comes out just like hairspray which I think the spray the applicator whatever you want to call it with setting spray is like 50% of the battle if you have a good sprayer why can't I think of the name whatever if that's like 50% of a setting spray is how it sprays because I have had ones that have great formula but then they leave droplets on my face that kind of take off my makeup it's a whole disaster you have to start over but this aerosol can and this formula is so good and I believe these are $16 each and they are 50% off when I got them so I got two for the price of one I got more eyelash glue this is my favorite one duo get the green one it is really nice oh that is the back this is the front I really like it it keeps those babies on and then I got more Ardell lashes I got the Demi Wispies that everyone talks about and then the Naked Lashes which honestly they look very similar these are the two up close these look a little bit more sparse but not in a bad way so these were 40% off I believe and they're already very affordable I think it's like $10 for one of these so these are 40% off how could I say no I absolutely love these I'm always buying fake lashes they don't expire or anything I wear them all the time to every event I have turned into that girl I am wearing them right now I don't know which ones I'm wearing right now actually I think I'm wearing Ardell and they're like in a orange box I really like them too but couldn't pass up the opportunity to stock up. Can you tell this is the second video I filmed today? I had a full work day and then now I'm filming my second video and I am starting to ramble and trip over my words, but we are almost done. So next I got two e.l.f. products. I actually own the Putty Blush in Turks and Caicos. So I got Bora Bora. This is more pink. The Turks and Caicos is a peach blush. I love it. I think it's $6. I don't think this is on sale, but I mean, it's $6. It's gonna be okay love this formula love it I just put my blush brush right into it and I just pack it on it does it's a buildable formula so you do need to dip in it a few times but it is stunning then I got the elf ride or die lip balm in tough cookie so it's a very nice nude they didn't have a ton of colors maybe six of them I almost got a pink one but I think I can use this on my cheeks too I'll try it out but I definitely think this is a lip cheek type of product so I'm really excited to look into that. I actually want to open it and kind of see what the formula is like because I've never seen this. I think this is a new product. So, oh, there's a seal on it. Oh, I'll, I'll do it another time. 
but I've been really enjoying e.l.f. products. They've really been coming out with a lot of bangers. My last item is the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum. It reduces the appearances of post-acne marks and pores. I've been struggling with hormonal acne and then the leftover marks of it. Do not pick up your acne. Do not try to pop them because that is how you get those marks. Learn from me. I have like one or two spots that I've been trying to get to go away. So I purchased this. I've actually used it a few times. This box is empty because it's in my bathroom, but I love everything that CeraVe puts out. So I'm really excited. It had really good reviews. So it has retinol in it that helps resurface the skin. It's very gentle and you can use it every day. So with retinol, you usually have to be very careful. You have to build up to it, but this is very gentle on the skin and you can use it once a day. I feel like I went through that so quickly, but I had so much ground to cover. I got so many items. I did get a lot of tried and trues, but I mean, hey, I'll get 20% off. If I can get 20% off, I'll take it. I'll buy more. I'll stock up. I feel like I got such good deals. I think I spent like 200 total at Sephora with the perfume that hasn't come yet. And then I spent about 60 at Ulta and that's I think that's great. You might think I'm insane for saying that's great, but they have the sale twice a year. And then Ulta has random sales that are also amazing. So just definitely check them out. Be aware. I also follow a lot of Instagram accounts that let me know when these sales are happening. I'll link some of them down below. Like Trend Mood really helps, I know. And then there's this like BFF deals Instagram I discovered lately. I don't know. I'll link it down below with everything else, but please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions about the products. I'll try to help you the best that I can, and I'll see you in my next video.